This section of the second grade addition and subtraction unit focuses on adding up to four two-digit numbers using base 10 blocks and mental strategies. For this section of the unit, you will need linking cubes, base 10 blocks, place value charts, and colored pencils. The addition situations presented in this section will be part part whole, whole unknown, and joining result unknown. Please refer to your word problem structures posters and work mats. Let's get started. In the previous lesson, linking cubes were used to represent numbers. Linking cubes are similar to base 10 blocks because 10 individual linking cubes compose a tower of 10. Ten base 10 units, or ones, can also be used to compose a 10. It is important students have an opportunity to see this before representing numbers with base 10 blocks. Remind students that just like 10 ones can be composed to form a 10, 10 tens can be composed to form 100. Let's use a real world scenario to add three two digit numbers using base 10 blocks. The librarian ordered new books for the library. He ordered 55 chapter books, 43 picture books, and 20 graphic novels. How many books did he order? Here, each set of books ordered has been represented with base 10 blocks on a place value chart. Using a place value chart with the hundreds place, place all the base 10 blocks on the place value chart. Determine the number of tens and ones represented on the place value chart. Here we have 11 tens and eight ones. Throughout the section of the unit, students should observe the value in each place value and determine whether regrouping is needed. At this point, have students record a pictorial representation of their base 10 blocks. Because there are 11 tens, 10 tens can be regrouped to the hundreds place. Model regrouping by trading 10 tens for 100. Record this exchange on your pictorial representation. One hundred plus ten plus eighteen equals one hundred eighteen library books. Now let's represent all of our parts on one place value map. Present another real world scenario such as Kevin made sixty four chocolate chip cookies, thirty six sugar cookies, and twenty five peanut butter cookies. How many cookies did Kevin make? Model sixty four on the place value chart with base ten blocks. Using a colored pencil, create a pictorial representation using lines and dots. Continue this with each amount of cookies using different colored pencil for each type of cookie. Consider the 15 ones. Are there enough ones to compose a 10? Regroup 10 ones for a 10. Then, model this on your pictorial representation with another colored pencil. Consider the 12 tens. Are there enough tens to compose 100? Regroup 10 tens for 100. Model this on the pictorial representation with the same colored pencil. Determine the total value represented in each place value and label the pictorial representation. 100, 20, 
5. 100 plus 20 plus 5 equals 125. Kevin made 125 cookies. Let's repeat the same process using four add-ins. Here is our scenario. There were 28 girls and 23 boys on the playground. Then 31 more girls and 32 more boys went to the playground. What is the total number of children on the playground? Model each value on the place value chart and create a pictorial representation using different colored pencils. Consider each place value and determine whether or not there are enough 1s to regroup to compose a 10 and whether or not there is enough 10s to regroup to compose a 100. Model this on the place value chart and in the pictorial representation. We have 100, 10, 4. 100 plus 10 plus 4 equals 114. There are 114 children on the playground. Mental Strategies Edition. Hi all, welcome to Elementary Math Minutes. Today we're going to talk about mental strategies using compatible numbers and place value. Let's start with compatible numbers. Before we begin, it is important to note that the use of compatible numbers is an example of a mental strategy. Compatible numbers are numbers that can be easily combined to equal friendly or benchmark numbers, such as 10 or 100. Let's consider the following equation. 18 plus 15 plus 12 equals something. Let's consider the values in the ones place that can be easily combined without using paper or manipulatives. I see that 18 has an 8 in the ones place and 12 has a 2 in the ones place. I can combine 8 and 2 to make a 10. You're right. Compatible numbers are numbers that can be combined mentally. 18 and 12 can be combined to equal 30. And 30 can be combined with 15 to equal 45. So 18 plus 12 plus 15 equals 45. We can also use mental strategies to add based on place value. Let's look at a real world scenario. There are 46 cars, 29 trucks, and 14 buses in the school parking lot. How many vehicles are in the school parking lot? Let's think about how we can solve this problem mentally using place value. 46 plus 29 plus 14 equals something. Well, I know 46 has four tens and six ones. And I know 29 has two tens and nine ones. I know 14 has one ten and four ones. We can rearrange the decomposed values to determine the sum more easily. I can group the tens together. I know four tens, two tens, and one ten is seven tens. So 40 plus 20 plus 10 equals 70. I can also group the ones together. I know six ones and four ones is 10 ones, and nine more ones is 19 ones. So six plus four equals 10, and 10 plus nine equals 19. I know 70 and 19 is 89. Therefore, 46 plus 29 plus 14 equals 89. There are 89 vehicles in the school parking lot. Remember, flexible methods of addition computation involve taking apart numbers, also known as decomposing, and combining numbers, known as composing, in a wide variety of ways. 
It is important to allow students the opportunity to practice flexible thinking when decomposing and composing numbers. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.